Hey, what's going on YouTube? In this problem, we have to integrate the arc sine of x to the one-third from negative 27 to 27. So, solution. This is from one of the um, MIT Integration B qualifying exams. So, there is a huge thing to notice. Like, the first thing that jumps out here, I think, is this number and this number here. We have what's called a symmetric interval. Okay, so if you ever have uh, a function that's odd, so if f is odd on a symmetric interval, so on negative a to a, what happens when you integrate from negative a to a is that you get zero. Okay, you get zero right away. So the only thing to check here is that this function um, is odd. Okay, and it is. So the answer is zero. The answer to this problem is zero. So how would you justify it? Um, I guess you could say the following. So first. Um, what does it mean for a function to be odd? So f is odd if whenever you plug in negative x, you can pull out the negative sign. And this is for all x. Right, for all x. In this case, we care about you know all the x's between negative 27 and 27. So here, our f of x, and this problem is this function here, arc, arc sine of x to the 1 third. So all we have to do is show that this is an odd function or just explain that it's an odd function. So let's do it. So we'll start by plugging in negative x. So f of negative x. So you replace all your x's with negative x. So this is arc sine. Parentheses and then parentheses negative x to the one third like that. And then that's an odd power there, right? So you can write that as arc sine of negative x to the one third. Right, x to the one third is actually an odd function, right? That's why you can do that. And now sine is an odd function. If you recall from just from math, right? Sine is odd. Arc sine is the inverse sine. So if you have an odd function, its inverse is also odd. In particular, the arc sine is odd. So this negative, you can just pull it out. So this is arc sine of x to the one third, right? Which is precisely equal to negative f of x, right? Because f of x is the arc sine of x to the one third. So we start with f of negative x, and we showed it's equal to negative f of x, and there was no restriction on x, so it certainly holds for all x. Um, so therefore, f is odd. So we have the integral of an odd function on a symmetric interval, so the answer is zero. So uh, when I first saw this question, I mean, that's, that's what sticks out right away. Um, so if you ever see something like this, if you ever, you know, you're, you're looking at integrals and you see something like negative 4 to 4, blah, you know, dx, always think, hey, if these numbers are opposites, a good chance that this, this bad boy here is odd. And how do you check? You just plug in negative x and make sure that you get back um, negative f of x. So hope this video uh, has been helpful. That's it.